Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Hi guys, how are Good you? Evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing we today? Are, we are fine, waiting for the class. Awesome, awesome. That's the attitude. Okay, so let's start today's class. Welcome to our second session. And I would like to ask you some questions first. Do you remember what was our topic from yesterday? What was the topic that we were studying yesterday? The adjectives and the adverbs. Okay, adverbs before adjectives. Okay. Okay, can you please give me some examples? Some example of, of adverbs that we were studying yesterday. Uh huh. Well, what are some examples that we were studying yesterday? Maybe frequency and always, never, often. Oh, okay. So we have some types of adverbs. We have type of uh, adverbs like for frequency, we have always. Never, sometime, rarely, okay, seldom. How about adverbs of time, Carlos? The adverbs of mm -hmm. times are yes. if when something happened, uh -huh. and, um, let me see some example is uh where where um there here inside back far i think okay thank you uh, let's see oscar give me some adverse of manner others of adverse of manner um uh, really, I don't remember. Excuse me. It's okay. Okay, can somebody help Oscar? Any idea or no ideas at all? Is the um how much? Okay. okay. Money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, today's topic is going to be basically related to conjunctions. Do you remember about conjunctions? From yesterday, we watched a video, right? Related to conjunctions. Do you remember the conjunctions that we were studying? Or don't you remember them at all? A conjunction, it will be um, and. Uh -huh. And, yes. What other one did we see yesterday? Uh-huh. That. Okay. Yes. Although. Although. Uh-huh. What else? Just those? Okay, 
Now, but? yes, but let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think it's loading. Yesterday, we were checking the information here and we said that the lesson objective in this session, participants will know, identify and use conjunctions such as and, but, though, and, however, okay? Now, to refresh the information, I'm going to play the video. Once you can listen and watch the video, just let me know, please. Yes, Vicente. Teacher, I, I got a question. Mm -hmm. um, I try to work in my platform, but uh, when I enter to the platform, it's very different that you are using. I don't know why. Um, because when I enter to the platform, mm -hmm. start with um, past what tense. Was where? Was and where? I don't know if it's correct or is yeah. it wrong because the platform that I you are using thing. right now is very different. I have the same problem, teacher. Yeah, right. I don't know why. Mm, bye. Mm -hmm. El... We are um, in uh, Intermedio 1. Okay. Perfecto. Si se fijan, nos vamos a ir nuevamente a la plataforma. Esos son los cursos que me han asignado. Ya vamos a ver. Está cargando a propósito. Sí. Ahora hablé con la señorita de atención al cliente, teacher, y, y exactamente le dije lo mismo. Y uh -huh. pudiera usted hablar con ella y nos, y nos agreguen al curso correcto, porque a mí me aparece en inglés eh, intermedio 1. Ahí me han puesto en esa plataforma. Uh -huh. Vaya. Permítame entonces. Quiero aclarar algo porque estos son, estos son los cursos que tengo. Que son el principiante 2, que es la clase de 7 a 8 antes que ustedes. Y tengo este inglés preintermedio 1. Ah, de acuerdo a la información, ¿en qué curso deberían de estar ustedes? Bueno, antes de continuar, ¿los demás tienen el mismo problema o están en el curso correcto? En el 12 en el mismo problema. problema. Entonces, en el... Perdón. Debería ser el intermedio 1. Ajá, en el intermedio 1 es donde nosotros nos inscribimos porque uh -huh. finalizamos el pre-intermedio 3. Ok. Correcto. Vaya, el... voy a ir uno por uno. Edgar, ¿tú tienes el mismo inconveniente? Correcto. Supuestamente Edwin. íbamos a empezar el intermedio 1. Uh -huh. Igual. Ok, Vicente. Sí, íbamos a comenzar el intermedio 1. Finalizamos el mes anterior, pre-intermedio 3. Ok, Lorena. Intermedio 1. Vaya, pero con la plataforma, ¿tienen los mismos temas o...? Eh, ¿Tienen algún inconveniente? ¿O son uh, diferentes los temas que están viendo en la plataforma de ustedes? Let me see, teacher. Porque a mí me dijeron que este, el grupo es intermedio uno. Entonces, ¿estamos bien? Sí. ¿Ok? O sea que en la plataforma quizás hay, hay algún error. Eh, pues tengo inglés intermedio o módulo uno. Ok. Pero la ¿Puede? plataforma, ¿cómo le aparece? Sí, puede, puede ver la lección 1. 
Ah, okay. ¿Por qué el tema le aparece? A mí en la plataforma me parece intermedio uno. Yo creo que no hay, no hay problema ahí. En mi, en mi, hay que entrar a la, a, la, a, la, a, la, a la lección uno. Ahí aparece what's where. Uh -huh. No aparece lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Acá. Espérame, ya le di. Vaya, permítame The revisar. Uh -huh. Ah, el pasado les aparece a ustedes. Sí, en el intermedio uno. Ajá, past tense. Ok. Permítame revisar. Vaya. Acá dice inglés preintermedio, módulo 3. ¿Es el correcto? No, teacher. Nosotros no. en el módulo 1. Vaya. Para quitar la yema de la clave. Intermedio 1. Y por. Quizás el enlace que nos enviaron era el, el, el equivocado. Ok. Permítame estar revisando. Sí. Le voy a tomar foto para que ella vea. Porque a mí me, me enrolaron en este, que es el que tengo, el que les estoy dando. Uh -huh. Ahorita me estoy contactando. Ok. Ok, teacher. Gracias. ¿Estos temas ya los habían visto anteriormente o no los habían visto? Sí, teacher. De hecho, ese donde... tema fue el primero que se vio en preintermedio, el curso pasado. Mm, ok. ¿Y por qué no me hicieron saber esto ayer? Pregunta. ¿Por qué eso lo pudimos solucionar antes de la clase o durante el día? Sí, yo sí, en, mi, yo, caso, en mi caso hasta hoy comencé a trabajar en la plataforma y vi que era diferente a la que usted este, estaba utilizando ayer. Uh -huh. y, y ahí fue donde me di cuenta. En mi caso, yo no he podido ingresar a la plataforma. Desde ayer avisé a, a la empresa y no me han respondido a los correos. En mi caso, teacher, yo en, en mi primer curso con ustedes, yo me hice el, el test y me asignaron a este grupo. No sabía. Pensé que yo era el que estaba equivocado en, el, en, el, en, el, en el, la plataforma. En mi caso, teacher, yo estaba en otro grupo. Entonces, como nos mandamos la documentación a tiempo, nos pasaron a este. Por eso es que no llevaba la secuencia. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, permítame.
Hola, buenas noches. ¿Sí? Sí, vaya, si usted me dice cuál es el problema que tiene exactamente. Eh, estoy viendo acá uh -huh. de que en la plataforma o el tema que, perdón, el curso que me parecía eh, como enrolado dice inglés preintermedio módulo 3. Okay, cuando, in uh -huh. cuando inicié con la sesión el día de ayer me parecía el tema de ¿Sí? adverbs before adjectives y cuando ellos ingresan a la plataforma uh -huh. les aparece algo diferente y el tema empieza con eh, simple past dicen entonces no sé qué ha pasado ahí porque es el que tengo asignado Vaya, sí, estoy verificando. Según la captura que usted me envió de un preintermedio 3, los grupos uh -huh. que usted tiene asignado es un principiante 2 y es un intermedio 1. Uh -huh. Si Cabal. gusta, lo que podemos hacer en este momento para evitar que, o sea, lo de la clase, pausar la clase, es que de momento siga con la clase y al día de mañana les estaría solventando, ¿verdad?, este problema a todos. Ah, ok. Perfecto, ¿Sí? entonces. Bueno, quedamos al pendiente. Ok, gracias. Tiene en mute el, el, el micrófono, teacher. Ah, ok. Gracias. Vaya, antes de continuar, por favor, cuando pase un error de estos o alguna discrepancia que ustedes vean, háganmelo saber, ¿verdad? En ese momento tenemos sí. los chats, ¿verdad? De, de Zoom y tenemos los chats de WhatsApp. Ayer okay. hablamos de algo bien importante que es la comunicación. Si ustedes me comunican, yo tengo todo el día para, para solventar este tipo de errores. Porque aquí, si se ven, ya perdimos bastantes minutos. ¿Sí? De la clase. Entonces, sí. este, nadie me, me dijo esto el día de ayer. Uh, no me dijeron, Tiche, ese tema ya lo vimos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si no me decían, yo no iba a saber, pues. ¿Verdad? Así que, por favor, estemos un poquito más, más pendientes. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen and you will be able to see that information right there. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Ok. We can see it. Okay. It's the, it's the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. According to the lesson objective says, in this session, participants will now identify and use conjunctions such as and, but, Though and however. Once you can listen and watch to the video, just let me know, please. I think it's loading. It's slow. Mm -hmm. Me? Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah, right. We can see.
Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Using though and another one using and? Do it in a nice, however. Okay, I'm going to share with you a, a screenshot for you to practice a little bit those uh, conjunctions. Just give me some seconds. It's not too crowded. It's not too It's not too crowded. It's not too crowded. Just give me some seconds. Okay. Okay, if you see the chat on the Zoom chat, you will be able to see the explanation. Uh, according to the information we have here, it says, let me just check. Okay, Carlos, read it. Read the first explanation, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, these two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative idea, but they go at the end of the sentence. Okay. Uh, read the second oh, and, and how well. mm -hmm. Read the second one, please. The purple one. Okay. It's a big city. It's not too crowd. Though, mm -hmm. it's not too crowded. Though, mm -hmm. it's not too crowded. Though, okay, uh, he is really good looking. He is not nice. However, okay. So let's try to practice a little bit those examples. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to write one example here.
Okay. There you have the first example. You can say, I love English. It's not easy though. It's not. It's not easy though. If you see, um, you use though in order to complete or complement a negative idea according to the example you can see right there. Can you please try to type an example on the Zoom chat following the same information? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, the positive uh, sentences need to be always at the first and the negative second, or mm -hmm. we can... We can do it at inverse. Uh, no, the first sentence or the first expression is going to be positive, the second one, the second one negative, and though at the end, as well as okay. however. Okay. For okay. example, you can it. say, uh, let's see. Let me type another one here. Or you can write it on your notebook if you wish. Okay, there you have. I enjoy raining, the weather is too cold. However, sin embargo, though, aunque, though, aunque, however, sin embargo, I like playing football. I'm not a skilled though. Okay, I'm not a skilled though. Okay, me gusta jugar el fútbol, pero no soy habil, aunque no soy habilidoso. Eso es lo que dice. Is that clear? I love raining. The weather is too cold, however. Me encanta cuando llueve, pero el clima es demasiado helado, sin embargo. O sin embargo, el clima es demasiado helado. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear, teacher. Okay, now the rest of you guys, you can type one example. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, about the word, doubt is with T at the end or not? No, it's with only... without T, because if ah, you okay. say thought, es pensar, pero uh -huh, doubt exactly. es aunque. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to type another example. Okay, I eat pupusas, they are too greasy, however. Okay. Como pupusas, sin embargo, son demasiado grasosas. Okay. Se entiende? Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Clear. So the, the first idea should be positive, the second one negative, and then you join the information at the end um, using though or however, okay? Okay. So you can say, I love traveling. I love traveling. Traveling. The tickets are too expensive though. Expensive though. Me gusta viajar aunque los pasajes son demasiado caros. I love traveling, the tickets are too expensive though. I like so much to sing. I don't have nice both though, okay? 
Great. Awesome. I like it, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me gusta cantar demasiado, aunque no tengo muy buena voz. Excellent. Great job. Okay. Another one. Give me more examples. Uh huh. Okay. Now, since you have been writing the information on the chat, Sara says, I love reading the books are a little expensive though. Okay. I like to run. My knee hurts, however. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Thank you, Lore. It's all right. Okay. Now, since you have been writing the information on the chat, I want you to give me some ideas, but without writing. Okay. Can you do so? I love swimming. I don't have a pool though. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Me gusta nadar aunque no tengo una piscina. All right, cool. Thank you. Now, I want you to raise your hands, okay? Your icon hand, all right? And give me one example, but without typing it. That should be verbally. I want to go to the movies. I can't, however. Okay. All right. That's cool. Uh-huh. Can you give me one example? Volunteers. Vicente, thank you. Okay. Um, I love my job, but... I don't like to work at night, however. Okay, I love my job. I don't like to work at night, however, okay? Edgar says, I like to visit my friends. They live so far though, okay? Great. Now, uh -huh. raise your hands and give me one example verbally. Vicente, your microphone is not mute. Uh huh. Raise your hands. Icon hand. Any other idea? Let's listen to uh, Maria Jose. Uh, a propósito, uh, Edgar, Lourdes, Elizabeth, Luis, Jenny, Elizabeth, Andrea, Esther, Jennifer, Dorat, Giovanni, Jose, enciendan sus cámaras, por favor. Porque es un requisito por parte de inglés corporativo. Ajá. Any other ideas that you might have? Ok. Thank you, Jenny. Ok, María José, go ahead. I love volleyball. I don't practice it, however. Thank you. Sarai. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Gracias, Luis. All right. Uh, let's see, Sarai, do you have any idea? But that should be verbally because you have been typing. It's okay, Jenny. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, let's listen to Carlos. Carlos, do you have any other idea? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I love right. the ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to choose uh, to though. Okay, I love ice cream. I don't know what to shoot though. All right, yeah. great. Vicente, thank you. Uh, you are mute, actually. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, teacher. It's okay. Uh, another example. Uh -huh. I love drive. I don't have car, however. <laughs> All right, that's cool. That's a good one. 
Okay. All right. Any other one? You can write it down first on your notebook if you wish to feel more comfortable, and then you can provide the information or the idea uh, verbally. Oscar says, I sleep. I don't rest less enough. Okay. I don't rest enough, though. Okay. That's good. Another one. But I want you to give me that information verbally this time. Okay, any other volunteer? The last one? No more ideas? Okay, let's continue with the platform though. I'm going to share the computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay. Can you see it or not yet? Yeah, we can see. Okay, thank you. Carlos, can you please read it? It says, no late check. Okay. Instructions. No late check. Instruction, read the sentences and choose the correct conjunction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, number one. Yes. Taipei oh. is very nice. Mm -hmm. Everyone is extremely friendly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what would be the right answer in your opinion? Okay. Let me read. Okay, Carlos and then the, num the number one. Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay. If you see there is comma before and okay we're going to see yes. if you have chosen the right one vicente continue with the second ah. one ah, okay good okay mm -hmm. the streets are crowded it's mm -hmm. easy to get around and let me let me read the answer okay. mm -hmm. I guess um, uh -huh. the the second one the 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 second answer. Are you sure? Remember well, that we uh, use we use though and however to join negative ideas. Do you have any negative idea on the second option? No. Okay, so. Which one would you choose then? <laughs> so, uh, number one. Number one. Okay, we're going to see it at the end, okay? Okay. Now, thank you. Another one, another volunteer to continue with the number three. Jenny, eh, thank you. Disculpe, me interrumpa, teacher. Eh, estoy uh -huh. revisando el caso que me habían comentado y creo que algunos de los participantes se habían confundido porque sí tienen acceso al intermedio 1. El pre-intermedio 3 es el módulo anterior. Si no tienen acceso al intermedio 1, en el mismo grupo lo pueden hacer saber para poderle brindar el acceso. Ah, ok. Este, solo una consulta. El, pero el, eh, la plataforma que estoy usando es la correcta o... Usted tiene intermedio 1 en este momento. Eh, perdón, pero creo que, teacher, usted tiene la plataforma de pre-intermedio. Ese es el problema. Y todos tenemos intermedio. Ah, esa era la confusión. Yo me sí. había confundido. Pensé que ustedes eran los que tenían el acceso al pre-intermedio 3 y el teacher al intermedio 1. No, al contrario. Entonces, teacher sí se ha confundido. Sería la otra plataforma. Pero esta la, fue la, la que, que me asignaron. En ese momento voy a revisar y si en dado caso eh, no tiene acceso a ese curso, se lo voy a, a dar, pero creería que sí, y mira, se lo había asignado. En este momento reviso y solvento. Bueno, muchas gracias. 
Eh, con permiso, solo un paréntesis. En el caso particular estuve viendo la posibilidad de ingresar a la plataforma. Ayer lo había manifestado y me menciona, ¿verdad? Me da un mensaje en el cual, bueno, eh, indica, lo leo textualmente, que he iniciado sesión exitosamente con Google, pero tu cuenta no está vinculada con una cuenta de inglés cor corporativo online. Es decir, me presenta otro problema más, eh, más, más complicadito, ¿verdad? Pero ahí lo voy a... eh, si gusta, ¿verdad? mi número está en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, mi nombre es Flor Sánchez. Y si gusta, me puede escribir ahí para mañana poderle apoyar. Calidad, gracias. Bueno. Ok. Thank you. Ok, Jenny, continue with the number three. I think is the first, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. Okay. Summers get pretty hot, however. Okay. The next one, another volunteer. Oscar, thank you. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market um, and in bad. Um, shopping is great. I, I think uh, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. Mm -hmm. The first option. First choice. All right. Thank you. Another person to complete the next one. Me, teacher. Thank you. Uh, the food is delicious mm -hmm. and is not too expensive. Uh huh. The food is delicious, but it's not too expensive. The food is delicious and is not too expensive. Ah, okay. Second option. Now let's see the answers. Aha, uh -huh. that is one incorrect. Okay, so I will say this one. The streets are crowded, it's easy to get around though. Let's see, the streets are crowded. Okay, it's easy to get, it's easy to get around though. Ah, okay. I got it. I got the idea. It's easy to get around, though. It's easy to get lost. That's what it means. Okay. So, so get around, teacher. Get around is teacher. lost. Get lost. ¿Por qué? Porque las, las calles son demasiadas eh, transitadas. Hay mucha gente. Eso es lo que significa. It's easy to get around, though. Around. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's see now. Yay! There you have. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Vaya. Es, creo que me estarían solventando lo de la plataforma y al día de mañana. Tomen esto como un repaso, pero vamos a avanzar con, con la que ya tienen ustedes. Okay. Entonces, teacher, um, la que nosotros accesamos, que comienza con eh, past tense. Es la uh -huh. correcta. Ah, ok. Thank you very much. Creería que sí. <ríe> Porque ah, okay, la, sí. la verdad que a mí las que me aparecieron son estas, las que tengo, que es la plataforma que estoy usando. No tengo uh -huh. otras. Así que, sí. honestamente, no sé qué pasó. Ella. No sé qué pasó ahí. Ok. All right. Uh, now, let's continue. And it says, uh, Carlos, can you please read the lesson objective? Okay, teacher. Um, lesson objectives. In this session, in this season, uh, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. In this session, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. Okay, thank you. All right. I'm going to play a video once you can see the video, just let me know, please.
I think it's loading, by the way. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, so let me read it. It's, it says, in this session, modal verbs can and should be uh, taught in order to ask and answer questions. We're going to see some examples related to modal verbs can and should. Once you can listen to the video, just let me know, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. It's loading. You have a way to a conversation with right now. Uh, video? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's very slow. Can and should were introduced. Those are. Called model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus model verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus model verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, let me go ahead and share with you the the examples that I have here. Once you can see it, just let me know, please.
Can you see the example for positive? Not yet, teacher. Oh. Not yet. We are in the no, video stream. Okay. Uh, uh, I think it's loading. Model verbs can can shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, let's complete some positive and negative ideas using should. There you have the example. You can say, um, you should practice your English a little bit more. Okay, that's going to be an advice. Now, I want to listen to your examples. Who's ready? Just raise your hand if you want to participate then. Any volunteer? You should try Mexican food. We're going to start with the positive examples first and then we're going to move to the negative ones. Okay, can you give me some examples? Let's see if you have understood that one. Oscar, thank you. You should eat Mexican food. Mm -hmm. In positive okay. sentence. Positive, okay. And then we're going to move to the negative ones. You should try or you should eat is the same. Thank you. Okay, Vicente, continue. You should try to do Mexican uh, food. Um, I can't, um, I can't eat a spicy food. Okay, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't eat a spicy food. Okay, Elisa says, I can go to the supermarket tomorrow. You should eat pupusas from la cuelta, okay? Should. Oscar, go ahead. Oscar? Uh, see, let me think, please. Um, mm -hmm. Laura you, says I should go to Colombia. <laughs> you should come to San Francisco Gotera. Okay. Ya, ya he ido ahí, de hecho, sí me gusta. Eh, calidad. Sí. <laughs> Cal Fui a, a, ¿cómo es que se llama este lugar? Mm. No, la, las maravillas de Perkin. Ajá, Perkin. Las maravillas de Perkin. Hay como cinco o siete lugares turísticos en cola. Súper bonito. Sí, en la zona norte. En uh -huh. la North Sun. Yes. Me gustó. Ok. Edgar says, I should be more disciplined to practice English. Ok, ya. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Give me more. More ideas. Using should. And then we're going to move to the negative one. Any other idea? Elisa says, I should review my English class tonight. Okay, great. You should eat more vegetables, Lauren says. Okay, now. Let's move to the negative form. I'm going to write one example and it says, you shouldn't eat too much, too much greasy food. Okay, we should take care of water. All right, that's a good one. Now let's move to the negative one. You shouldn't eat too much greasy food. That's my example. I want you to I want you to type some of the negative examples. Also, if you want to just raise your hand and give me the information verbally, you can 
go ahead and do so. Okay, Sarah says, I shouldn't sleep late. All right. Yeah, because the next day you are you are falling asleep. <laughs> it's all right. Uh-huh. Next, Vicente. You shouldn't sleep in your job. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. You shouldn't sleep in your job. Elisa... I shouldn't, I shouldn't eat more this day. Okay. All right. Next. Next one. Okay. Thank you. Let me go ahead and show you the information on the platform. Let's see if we are able to complete the knowledge check. It says, instructions, complete this conversation using can't, can't, should, or shouldn't. Okay, uh, Carlos, select the first one, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I can't decide where to go on my vacation. Thank you. Vicente, next. Um, option, uh, okay, good. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Thank you. Lorena, next. Uh, number... Ay, me partí. Two. Three. Two. No. Three. Oh. Uh, I am planning to go to uh, Bogota two. next year. When do you think I shall, I, I shall go? Thank you. Vicente, next. Number. <laughs> I, can, I can see the, the sentence, the teacher. Uh, sorry, the option. Cover. Ah, okay, good. Good, I... Sure. Hmm. Uh-huh. Um, sorry, teacher. <laughs> I can't see the the sentence. It's okay. Uh, okay, number, number one. Number two is, I'm, play, I'm planning to go... No, 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 number three. Letter B. Ah, oh, letter B, two. yeah, right. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. You should go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Thank you. Sarai, go ahead. Sarai? Okay, all the volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Should, should. Mm -hmm. Sarai, okay. Trejos. Okay, quizás estás en mute porque no te escucho. No escucho. Ok, María José, go ahead, please. The letter B. Uh -huh. No, you should finally use the software. It's fast and efficient. Efficient. Ok, Oscar. Four. Uh, where I, where, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Jewelry. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So. Continue, Elizabeth.
Okay. You should miss the weekend market. It's the best place to begin. Thank you. Continue. Lourdes. Five. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, Edgar. You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Okay, let's see the answers. Oh, you shouldn't miss the weekend market. See any other one? Yay, there you go. We got it. Okay, guys. We got Bye. it. Vamos a eh, continuar el día de mañana. No le voy a quitar más de su tiempo. Espero se solvente lo de la plataforma y que todos estemos en la misma secuencia, ¿ok? Ah, vale, Pero okay. vamos, a, vamos a tratar de avanzar. Espero que eso se solucione. Las disculpas del caso. Pero en mi caso fue lo que se me asignó y es lo que estoy enseñando. Uh -huh. Así que, so, okay. teacher, nos we quedamos can continue. Teacher. Teacher. ¿Sí? ¿Podríamos eh, realizar los ejercicios que están ahí para ir ahondando en el tema o qué recomienda? Eh, pues si se les hace fácil los temas que tienen ustedes ya en la plataforma, avancen. Porque recuerden que de aquí al viernes ustedes tienen que ya tener completadas la unidad 1 y 2. 1 y 2, por eso uh -huh. era la pregunta, porque si no, no vamos a avanzar. Yo ayer quise hacer algo y no pude. Es correcto, yo, yo trabajé un rato ya en el past tense, ahí como ves que comienza. Sí. Vaya, eso, eso hagamos. Traten de avanzar lo más que puedan ustedes. Y okay. si no, pues aquí vamos a avanzar con este, los días que nos restan. ¿Ok? Ok. Excelente. No les voy a quitar más de much. su tiempo. Eh, buen Gracias, provecho a los que no han cenado. And see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.